What's going on, people? I decided to do a quick video about a toolbox I converted into a car carrier. Just a regular toolbox. Got in the back of my truck here. Uh, it was ten dollars. I forgot Home Depot loads, but it was ten dollar toolbox. There's two matching compartments up top. They open up. Keep various tools and spare parts in it. Close that one up. It's so on the right side, same thing, same compartments inside of it. Um, they're neat because they slide off. So you can take this with you. So you can go out to the bench or whatever. Take this with you, slide it out with you. I have Velcro on it, so we keep it in place. They do come off pretty easy. It is only a $10 toolbox. Little compartment up here. I keep my, uh, I got some duct tape in here now. It's kind of thin. I'm going to replace that soon. Uh... Two latches. I put my little stickers that came with the car on here. My Sprinter Flux. It's a real simple box. Came with a tray. A stopping job, but um, I cut the hole so that this will lay pretty much flush in there, so the top, so the top of the box will close. Uh, I got my two batteries sitting in another little tray that I picked up from a um, the auto store. They're sitting on those dashboard mats, the sticky mats. So when they're in here, they don't slide around anything. If I keep one up, one down. It's a nice snug fit. This whole tray right here is actually velcroed in. So that doesn't go anywhere, that stays in place. Uh, this is a battery charger for the batteries inside the controller. Uh, tires. I put two screws going up from the bottom of the tray to keep the tires in place. These are the drift tires. You slide them in. Either way, if they deep dish rims, they got to turn them upside down so you still get some screw left on there. I could probably put like a little twist nut on there, but that's fine. The box doesn't go upside down, so they stay in place. I'm about to add two more slots for two more set of tires. As you see, this, there's a whole set right here. About to put two more screws in here for another set, just in case. Lift this tray up. And there's the car sitting inside the box. See, there's room for the tray and the car. The antenna sticks out the tray, but there's a hole on top of the tray, so that's perfect, basically. Um, I put some little mats on the side. You probably can't see them. They're foam stickies. In case the car rotted. In case the car slides around in there, it won't get damaged. But at the same time, here's the car. It's the last one I painted so far, the Saline Mustang, which is discontinued. Luckily, I found this on, um, I don't know, I found it on eBay or somewhere. Clear body, I painted it. Put the uh, twin pipes on the back. Anyway, this is all from Auto Store. These are, uh, bumper protectors but they, they give pretty good grip on the back of these is double face tape mounting tape so these are in place inside here the chassis of the car is low enough to sit on here so it'll hold the car in place without these the wheels on the car will roll around naturally so these do a good job of keeping it in place while you're traveling but you're not going to throw the box around so it does its job Get back in there. Set the tray back on it. Like I said, the antenna sticks through the top of there. So that's out the way. The car's in there. Not touching it. There's a little bit of clearance. This is a low-sitting car, too. Maybe, like, my Evo might sit up some. So I might have to adjust it to go inside there. But it does fit. I have carried it before. Uh, that's it. So yeah, two light poles, the batteries in here. I got the battery charged. You also carry some batteries. There's still room left on the tray. Put various this little trick department right here. Put various tools in there while you're carrying it along. So I put my decals on it. I also keep a converter with me. Because I need to charge the light poles up. That's a good idea to have that on you. And that's about it. Like I said, it was 10 bucks. I might have put another 10 bucks into it. To get it the way I want it, but... That's it. Ten bucks. There's a tote box. Or you could pay for the companies, which are like what? About eighty bucks? 
I only play one card at a time, so I only need this. That's it.